Does the thought of doing this absolutely petrify you? It's really no different from any other score you make. It's just on a bigger scale and I want to show you and give you the confidence to be able to do this so that you can buy nice big glass sheets and cut them with confidence. So first off you need a nice robust right angle. Um, it's worth checking that you can easily reach the end of the score and comfortably get from end to end before you start. I wouldn't recommend a glass of wine but you need to take a couple of deep breaths uh, before you start make sure you've got your glasses on and then you're looking the most important thing is a consistent score you need to hold the right angle firmly with your left hand but you're looking to move your body in one continuous score from the top to the bottom keep the cutter not going from the left to the right and hugging up to the, um, the side of the right angle It's very important that you know that this isn't about speed, it's about consistency. So what you're looking for is a score with no breaks in it, just a very nice consistent line. Um, I've done a slower one here just to prove that you don't need to go quickly all the time. It's the consistency that counts. Once you're happy with your score line, you need to carefully move the glass. You can't lift it. You have to keep it either on or just above the um, work surface and slide it or lift it gently across the surface. And you're looking to get that score line parallel to the edge of the table, but about a quarter of an inch beyond. Um, you need to get your hands flat on either side of the glass and hold it securely and what you're going to do is lift it and bang it down sharply across the edge just like that it really is that simple as long as you do things with confidence and you're feeling relaxed you'll be absolutely fine now do you think that breaking over the edge will work in every situation What about here when I haven't got much um, glass on the bench and I'm trying to bang over and open it? Do you see how that's just, it hasn't got enough weight to hold the glass on the bench? Um, so it's worth remembering that if, you, if you're cutting a larger sheet and you can't, there isn't enough to go over the side, then there's some other ways of opening it up. You can use the thing that you're familiar with, the uh, cut running pliers. You could just do that as normal. You have to be obviously a bit careful when you turn it round when the score is partially open because it is liable to run. But apart from that, it behaves exactly the same as a smaller piece. Another really pleasing way of opening up a score line on a, on a larger sheet of glass is just with the tip, uh, the ball of the cutter, put it along the score and gently press on either side and it opens the score line a treat. Last but not least, your trusty thumbs. I wouldn't recommend this for larger sheets as it's too heavy and dangerous to hold them, but as you can see for these smaller narrower pieces it works just fine. The eagle-eyed amongst you would have noticed that one of the cuts I did was with my TC20, my Toyo cutter, which has got a wider head. Now this is recommended for straight cuts, so if you are thinking of doing a lot of cutting of large sheets, then I, you might, it might be a good idea to invest in one of those or similar. And here's the TC20 in action. Just notice the even pressure for the length of the score. The wider head helps stabilize it against the right angle so it gives it a, a it makes it a little bit easier to hold the line. So I hope this video has given you the confidence to give those large sheets a try. It really really isn't as hard as you might think it is.